Testing, one, two, testing, testing. I hope you can all hear me wherever you are in the world. We'll be live very, very soon. Thanks very much for joining us. Now, right back. we're good i think we're good i think we're good i did that button hello good evening good afternoon good morning wherever you are in the world hello welcome to the weekly dev stream for rock this games yep i'm not eric sorry yeah i I'm, I'm me i'm me along here along here how you doing good evening good afternoon to you all uh yeah it's gary here i'm taking the place of eric this week He's got some wonderful vacation time. He deserves it. He deserves it. So normally he's the face of the streams. But unfortunately, you got my uh, lovely face this week. And so what are we going to do this week? If you remember the last time I streamed, we were playing through on the scout, I believe. Um, but this week, I want you all to decide for me again what we're going to be playing. Uh, what ship we're <clears throat> Uh, double music playing. Has anybody else got double music? I'm not hearing any double music. Just double check. If you've got anything playing, just double check, double check. I've not got any double music playing. There's Michael. There's Michael. There he is. So. <laughs> Lovely British accent. Yes. Something like that. But yeah, just uh, if you are, sounds normal to me. Um... Froggy, have you got something double playing? Anyway, I shall let you sort that one out. So, we're going to load up a game save. I want you to check out what ships we've got available at the um, Freelancer Hangar in Prescott. And then I want you, as the chats, to decide for me what we're going to play through uh, in this session. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be playing on Nightmare. I know Spook just asked that over on uh, on the Twitch chat. Um, regarding the chats, if you do have any questions, please do fire them in. Um, there's plenty of people here that will be able to answer them if I can't. Or if you want to follow up on the Discord after the stream, you are the more than welcome. More than welcome. More than welcome. Right. Let's load up. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> and we've got, yeah, Michael's obviously here. Flory's here. Boots here, Chatteries here, DD King, how are you doing? Good evening over on YouTube. Pesky's with us. Uh, Bearded Frog is obviously always with us. ET Motor Slorin's here. How are you doing, Slorin? Good evening to you, sir. And uh, everybody else that's going to join us. Uh, got credits this time. Yes, I have, actually. <laughs> if you want to check out the credits up there, uh, 
But I do have the ability now to actually uh, give myself credits if should need. But uh, yes, we do have some. Uh, <laughs> one of the uh, one of the times that uh, I was left with no credits. <clears throat> Thanks, Eric. Uh, but we're doing okay. Right. So we're gonna have a look at the ship dealer. See what we've got. We're currently playing as the Vanguard. Um, I don't actually remember ever switching to the Vanguard. But I hope. So we'll have a look at the ship dealer. We'll see what they've got. So it's up to you to decide what we're going to rock. Uh, ideally, obviously, we're going to keep uh, a three plus. So we've got a Vindicator. We can switch the passives if necessary. Uh, at Reign of Keys, no, we're not giving away any keys. We don't do that on this weekly dev stream. It's still really loud. Okay. Okay. That. That's really weird, Frog. Um. Typhoon, obviously three. We've got the Lacune Bomber. Mm, that is a very nice looking ship. Very nice looking ship with the special of the Ult of Arc 9000. We've got the Stalker of the Interceptor. H8. Nice. Shabby looking ship, is that, is it? I do like the Interceptor. And then we're going back to the Sentinel, one of my favourite ships. Um, I do like them. Uh, Wizard Jerry, yeah, I'm just going to get people to decide and then, you know, we'll, we'll take it from there. There. We've got the Stinger, very small, agile uh, ship with the Void Swarm as the ultimate. And then last but not least, probably nobody's going to choose that, to be honest with you. Uh, we've got the Dominator A2 3 Plus gunship, which is obviously the most powerful of those. Um, let's have a see. So, Slurry, same Vanguard. We've got Sol Bergeren, how are you doing? On Vindy. We've got gunship from Pesky. Uh, Twitch. Oh, nobody's actually said anything. Oh, Vindicator. We've got Vindicator. Oof. So we've got two Vindicators up to now. Uh, pick the gunship and do some rest. <laughs> Nurston, that would be an interesting concoction. Uh, very interesting concoction. So, uh, ooh, we've got a bit of a tie going on. We've got a bit of a tie going on. <clears throat> so, yeah, the bomber does look good. So we've got Vindy, Vindy. Vindicator, the rogue. I mean, I could stick with the ship that I'm rocking, you know, if, if necessary. If I wanted to stay with the Vanguard, that is an option as two. <laughs> Made a wheel and it landed on the interceptor. Wow, Spoot. Spoot just did a random thing there. Uh, look at me. Hmm. Hey, they're, they're not looking bad, are they? They're not looking bad. Seeing there's no love for the stinger, I'm surprised at that. I thought somebody would have said that. People wouldn't have. <laughs> Slow, he's like, Vanguard! He's adamant we have Vanguard. He's adamant we have Vanguard. <sighs> mm, one last look through. I think Vindicator's winning. I do think the Vindicator's winning. We're going to try that. We're going to try that. We'll have a look at the passives uh, just behind my head. Sorry, I'm in the way here. I uh, The passives are drones are invulnerable during phalanx. Drones regenerate 1% hull uh, per second and 50% reduced damage from enemy drones. If we switch those out, we get maximum number of drones active is increased by one. Drones violently explode on death, damaging and slowing nearby enemies. And when the drone is destroyed, gain 20% increased weapon damage for six seconds. Blood on death. There we go. So, uh, yeah. Now, I'm going to preface this. I've not, played, <laughs> I've not played the Vindicator. So this could end in tears. Absolutely in tears. But uh, we shall go with that. Buy and sell. Look at that change. Look at that. A hole. Ooh, there it is. Boink. 236 credits. <laughs> there we go. We've got one. we got an extra drone. we got an extra drone. <sighs> right. I eye on this baby for a while. Now it's mine. So, hard work does pay off. Indeed it does, Hive. Indeed it does. Right. So the missions that we've got is Paving the Way, which has got to the Drake Passage. We've also obviously got the uh, Citizens of Velocity, which is what we were kind of doing. But we're going to carry on with our... Play through. <clears throat> We're gonna head to Drake. Oh, it's 
just realised. One of my... I haven't loaded them in yet. Ooh. No, I'm just going to plunk that in for the time being. <clears throat> we'll see how we fare. Right, let's head out of here. Let's travel. So yeah, if you do have any questions and we can try and answer them, uh, by all means, just fire them into the chat. We've got several members keeping an eye out. Though Michael's here, uh, especially he'll be able to answer some pertinent questions if you have them. And if you don't, then do follow up on our Discord later on. Um, so after we've had our playthrough, we are going to do a little showcase of some screenshots that we've had come in. But normally we pick them from our Discord. However, we've seen some absolute fantastic shots. And I mean fantastic shots come in from the Steam. I mean, there was a plethora of great shots. And we haven't chosen all of them. So we're mm, bringing some big punches onto Steam. So we'll have a look at them uh, much later on. Probably after I've died quite several times. <laughs> yeah. I get this funny feeling people are going to be naming the drones. Yeah, no you're not wrong about pesky. On the mining freighter belonging to Maddox. Could be they're transmitting the wormhole already. Right, let's see what we can get here. Okay, okay, okay. We may swap to that. We may swap to that. I do like a good flak. Another flak. Credits. I see surprised how agile it is. And maybe it's because I've been flying the gunship so long. Are we lagging really badly? We seem to be. The frame rate has just dropped massively. Put that down to there. I was just I just noticed everything was going stuttery there. Right, to there. <sighs> that ship there. Okay. Let's get this power core underneath. I wanted. Right, where's the other power core? Wreckage over there. Let's go check that out, shall we? <laughs> Much better than ever yet. Ping, ping, ping. something inside that's very nice. Thank you. Get that slotted in and see what rewards we get. Got some mines. Push down a sustained auto cannon. 100% complete. Have a little quick look then. Thermal gun. Hmm. Yeah, I do like the beam laser just because of the targeting, but I think I'm going to switch to that. Followed up. Do one coil gun or do I think one three? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Don't know whether to swap that up. Energy. Okay. 
we're gonna go without it. What do we got caught a cannon? Ooh. Right, we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with that. We're gonna like that combo is always good. Always good. Right, let's see if we can get through. Oh no. I will bypass this because I want to see you spoiler all the conversations. Where there's a will, there's a way. I can okay. surely open this gate with some imagination. I'm sure we could. Oh, hello. Flying off into the distance. Right, let's see what vent we can throw this into. There we go. Jump. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? I don't know. I'll no take idea. your matters into my own hands. Stay out of my way. I think I'm on the right track. Let's try the other vents. Yep. Just going to take these out of the equation. They do do some damage. You're carrying something that explodes in your face is not necessarily a good thing. Right. Let's get rid of you. Go. Right. One more shot. Uh, oops. Well, let's find another vent. Excuse me, I've got something very explodey. Thank you. No shooting. Do. Thank you. There you go. Big boom. Love it. That did the trick. That did the trick. Get that out of the way. Right. Let's head in. Let's see what we can hit to. Really pay you enough to put your life on the line? Hey, I gotta make ends meet. I need the creds. You made a bad career move, buddy. You had one task to keep this transit point operational, and you got cocky with the slightest bit of authority. How about a taste of Horag firepower to shut that big mouth of yours? Oh, this will be interesting in a Vindy. This. <laughs> wow, this is retro. This is retro indeed. You've got to be kidding. I want Some you. players do find this quite tough, to be fair. Uh, especially in the less agile ships. I've struggled myself, so I don't think it's a just a you thing. It's a definite um, challenge. We want it to be a challenge. I'm only playing on normal, by the way. Bouncy, bouncy. Open a weed if we can. Do you mind not shooting at me while I'm trying to steer my ship? A very big, bulky ship. Point. Hmm. 
Nothing wrong with scraping the sides. They need my help on the other side. So whatever deal you had with them is off now, okay? I'm supposed to believe that? Look, I ain't too sure about any of this, but... You just gave up already. <laughs> Gonna give him. Is he gonna give me an easy time? Or is he just gonna... All right, I let you through. But Ooh. hey, just in case someone asks you, not a word to the coalition about my little side operation here. Not that a word. Mark just saved your life. Not a word. But your delay. These may have cost others. They. Yeah. Bears. You tell him, Adam. You Max, tell him. Stop whatever you're doing. Don't lead anyone to the comet. The comet. You're more concerned about that cursed thing than my ass getting shot off? <laughs> Typical. Jeebus. I wish I'd never set eyes on you, Adam. You messed this all up for me. Ah. Blame me. Blame me. Why is it always my fault? Why is it always my fault? Right. Let's go through the Galliano. Maddox. I hope we're not yeah. too late. Right, let's have a little look see around Galliano Gate. Oh, mind you, we've got to get to Eduardo. So let's uh, just come back to there. Let's do the jump. Bye. If you do have any, if you do find any bugs while you're playing the game, uh, please do let us know. Uh, bug reports over on the Steam forums is one of the most ideal ways that you can get in touch with us because then we can log them. Uh, also, if we do get any requests for game save files, uh, then send them across to us as well. But we'll ask for them as necessary. But yeah, Steam forums, Steam bug forums, uh, the best. Place. Uh, yeah, I know Wizard Jerry. Uh, I have noticed that one of my uh, um, device slots that he's empty didn't have any of these put in there. Max, wait. No, you, you misunderstand. The Elite Squad has already docked with the freighter and boarded it. Eduardo must still be on there, but the comms are. Wait, right, let's try and deal some damage, shall we? The area. Yeah, I got that much hide. Eduardo could still be alive on the freighter. Let's take care of these jerks and get on board. Right, let's take that. Hey, Eric, look, I use my GP. Taking you apart is going to be so much fun. This. Let's dock at the freighter and see if Eduardo is at least in one piece. Some G and B elite remain on board. I'll need to watch my step. Put everything in. And there. Package. Cool. Now let's get docked. I'll dock at the freighter. We will skip this. I don't have too many spoilers. Do that. Skip it. Do that. Skip it. Do that. Eduardo, I need you to go into hybrid. Oop. There you go. Right. Oh. Right. Let's have a, just have a quick look. <coughs> um. So slowing uh, over on YouTube. There's a bunch of continuity bugs in the game. Are you guys addressing those, or will you just wait, uh, or just be what it is going forward? Uh, if you do find some continuity bugs, then we will fix them. Um, if you do find them again, please put them on the 
uh, bug forum over on Steam, uh, or if you um, do find something and you know it's a bug or whatever, then you can uh, email us at support at rockfishgames.com. Uh, send it across there and we can take a look at it, get it logged and get it changed because we don't want continuity problems um, because people might be uh, a little bit confused if something jumps into the story that shouldn't necessarily be there. So yeah, do let us know. Um, Flory over on Twitch. Uh, will there be missions? I wish we could battle the boss fights again like the battle now, a mission like called Test the Worm will get security. That is a cool idea, Flory. Cool idea. I think you know where you can put that idea. The suggestions for them. Yeah, it's slow. I mean, I know, I know you're saying what you're saying that they're not technically bugs. Uh, that is true. Um, but yeah, continuity still needs fixing. So uh, yeah, we, we do want to get them sorted where we can. So yeah, please do um, do check them out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Flory's like, yes, I know where to put that. Yeah, yeah. But um, <clears throat> how you doing, Thirty One Fox? Hello. Good evening. Good afternoon to you, sir. How are you? Uh, yes, I'm in the pilot seat. Um, Eric's on some well-earned vacation this week, and uh, I hope he's having a wonderful time, whatever he's doing. So, right, so let's just have a look at my injuries, because I did pick up quite a few little bits there, didn't I? So, uh, they're a bit more damaged than do, so we'll spot that out. He got... Ooh. I, I'm going to take that just because I like the extra speed. Uh, utility firepower, yeah. I do. I just like the extra little bit of speed. Is this right? like plan vacation? Yes, plan vacation. Oh, definitely plan vacation. Right, so let's go for. Uh, da, 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 da. Hmm. I'll put that one into there. There. I'll put damage boost into there for the time being. Let's have a look at my ship. We'll go for that. Um, boo -boo 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 -boo. right. I'm always open to suggestions. If you do think something will go quite well, uh, I look, obviously I like corrosion injection. I do like the uh, EMP generator. It's because I've played Sentinel for such a long time as well. Teleporter I do like because it gets you out of dodge very quickly. that in and then we are going to upgrade that because it's a preferred play style of mine to get us out of the way <laughs> so uh scurry yeah i like scurries passing gifts okay i'm gonna try scurry because you've got a one in four chance of refunding a charge so uh, yeah we'll try that we'll we'll scurry out the way uh, i'm actually gonna swap these over because that is there we'll put EMP in there, and then scurry, 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 corrosion, and then energized boost if necessary. Anything else you want to swap out? Maybe how are we doing on that ship's loot? Ooh, stick with what we've got on there. Blasters, not bad, never been bad. Right, gang war. So, dock at Coalition HQ at Lethal Starport. <laughs> Hey, Hive, before we go, I don't want anyone else stumbling across this rig and getting any grand ideas about Viridium mining. Mm -hmm. What do you have in mind? Can you trigger those bombs the Elite Squad left on the freighter remotely? With pleasure. Please attain some distance while I detonate the onboard explosives. I knew that was going to happen as soon as I saw it, I thought, that's going to hit me, isn't it? There. Did I bug this? There we go. I guess that's the end of the grand dream. I was a fool to think things could be as easy as one big job. Conquistadors of antiquity, burning their ships on the shore come to mind with such a display. 
Yeah, well, no need to get all poetic about it, Hive. Let's get going. Okay, let's get out of here. Right. <clears throat> let's get out of here, indeed. Uh, if you do struggle to actually leave an area, uh, sometimes you just got to be very careful where you're pointing your ship. Um, you cannot jump into super light when you are pointing at a planet, for example. <coughs> or an asteroid or anything like that. Anything that's a celestial object, you'll struggle with. Point into deep space and you should be fine. Sorry, I've. <clears throat> You're not. Welcome to the Coalition Store. What can I do you for? Just keep them occupied while <laughs> I link to their I systems. Who that character in the background. is? Uh, yeah. Do you stock beans here by any chance? Beans. We got beans of all varieties. What's your pick? Oh well. uh... Well, we got pinto beans. I shall skip that so you can check that out. But uh, that is obviously somebody that most of you may know. We're not going to switch. We're not going to switch. No matter what's there, we're not switching. We're not, we're not switching. We'll have a look at it. Oof. In D3 plus. Oof. That's it. That's the same as what I've got. That's the same as what I've got. We'll, we'll stick. We'll stick. We'll stick. We'll stick. We're not going to go. Right, let's just sell some stuff to him, shall we? Let's get rid. Sorry, not a fan of blasters. Get rid. Oh, there you go. I can go to there. Um, no, no. Um, Missiles should be required to throw them in. Thermal guns, good. Please the cell. Uh, there. Yeah, it's a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll get rid of that. <coughs> right. Zoom. Let's, we're repaired. Let's get on that way. <laughs> you got the location of your client? An approximation. The data I read indicate that he has spent most of his time just inside the Drake system, transferring coordinates to you. Excellent. <laughs> right, I'm just going to have a look at the missions that we've got because I want to start that one. I'm going to track that one. <laughs> which is gang war so let's have a look um crash and burn so that is lethal starport so we're gonna head what well, can there. you tell me about this guy only that he is a somewhat secretive individual who appears to be avoiding his debtors he goes mm. by the moniker ghost He's avoiding his debtors eh well, <laughs> yeah. like I just saw your comments, but yeah, I, it was tempting I because I didn't switch shit, but I thought I'll stick with what we've got. I'll stick with what we've got. Although he did pay hard creds for the mainframe disruptor and attempted no trickery, I had informed him that the device was as yet largely unproven, but he seemed intent on field testing it for himself. 
I guess the guy at least sounds reasonable. Let's hope he's willing to do business. Soul, uh, what was that a second? Soul over on YouTube had asked um, about co op mode, but yeah, Michael did answer and said um, adding co op would mean redesigning the game, um, the whole gameplay code from scratch, so it's not going to happen. So, yeah, there will be any co op, there will be no multiplayer, etc., for this game. So, uh, I know we talk about it quite a lot, but uh, and then anybody that uh, <coughs> is looking forward to the console launch, maybe you know people who are waiting for the console launch, or you want to get it on console as well yourselves. Um, we are going to have news on that on the release date for the console launch at the uh, ID at Xbox show on July the 11th. You need to keep an eye out on that. Uh, we'll be revealing the date when you're going to get your mitts on the console version. So check it out July 11th. Uh, we'll put more details up, uh, etc. Uh, on the Discord uh, and on the socials. So don't worry. We won't forget you um, needing to know when you're going to get your hands on it. Finish the race course. Course carnage. Right, let's get docked. Let's get ready to dock. Boink. <clears throat> Coalition HQ, state your business. State your business. I'd like to inquire about the well being of some young Horags on your station. Well, well, look what the cat dragged. <laughs> Let's just do that. Right. <clears throat> what I want to do, actually, is um, I think I might customize. Ooh, what should we go for? What should we go for? Bright red. Hey, that's a different one. Oof. That's not a bad one. <clears throat> a bit of a white knight one, that one. Bit of a white knight. That one. Stick out like a sore thumb, but, you know, they wouldn't see me flying into them from the sun, would they? So, yeah. I think we'll go with that. Go with that. All right, so let's have a look at the shop, see if they've got anything. Mm -hmm. Mini, mini, mo. Those cruise missiles there, five, four, two, eight. Okay, they are better. We'll buy them instead, just in case we want to launch one of them into oblivion. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to switch that out. I'm not going to switch. That out. Not today, not today. Right, go to Alpha Draco Thermal Plant. Mm, head there. <laughs> uh, Jay Panciotti, how are you doing? While here, attack a freelancer drone carrier. <laughs> uh, Kickstarter skin flex. Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry, Spoo. Yeah, that's. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, if you were a Kickstarter uh, backer, uh, we did, um, and I was myself uh, originally, uh, we did get the. That is the Kickstarter exclusive skin because uh, we helped back the game. It does look very, very nice, actually. I mean, to be fair, it looks like somebody's had a bit of an argument with a paint pot and um, thrown it all over the wings. But it's a nice style uh, with the Kickstarter uh, green uh, on there for the accents. It's very, very nice. But uh, yeah, we're going to go. We're going to go all white there. Um. Da -da -da -da. Uh, Bit of Frogs definitely has a few uh, console friends who are waiting for it though. Hmm. Special style indeed. Yeah, it, it is quite nice. It is quite nice. Oh, yeah, we'll go switch the way. Right, so let's go to the Alpha Draco. <sighs> hey, Alec, it's me. Hey, Adam! Ben repaired the ice cream machine. It's delicious. It's delicious. That's great. Look, I visited the coalition and Ming Yan reassured me that your children are doing great. I just need to make sure things stay that way. Mm-hmm. Okay. That doesn't sound reassuring at all. Can you tell me anything about a Zerilia gang that's been hounding the coalition? Those guys? 
a thorn in the backside of the Drake system. Their uh, boss, Admiral Zealous, is a bloodthirsty maniac who thinks it was a mistake to sign a treaty with the he's, old he's somebody to invite the tea, You're isn't not he? getting mixed up with them, are you, buddy? I'm just paying them a little visit. I'll be careful. If I can help <laughs> neutralize some bombs they've apparently developed, I might be able to provide some lasting security for all the little X. You're the best, Adam. Thanks, Alec. We love you too. <clears throat> you little fairy mammalian. So, as we've cruised around Drake and we've unlocked the challenge, and for those of you who don't know, every system has a challenge of some description which will allow you to fast travel if you complete all the necessary challenges in it. Uh, I've already done that on some of the uh, some of the systems, but obviously, ah, come here. I haven't done them yet. <laughs> Just gonna hold up, just to admire the view. Yes. How hot does that look? Very hot. There's my drones, just keeping me safe. Have you? If you don't know how to do it on PC, by the way, just hit your Z key, and then you're going to photo mode, and then you can take some wonderful screenshots, which we'll be showing you some of later. Uh, but yeah, some wonderful, talented people out there who've made some. Uh, Excellent shots. Right. A fly into the volcano. That seems perfectly safe. I shouldn't worry about it at all. Hello. This volcanic vent should be the back door the coalition leader informed you of. Well, let's have a look inside this thing. This thing is out. far above 1,000 degrees inside. The ship's Save thermal protection range. system yeah, is sorry. not built for that. I advise utmost. I know what I'm doing. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> the limit of our thermal protection has been... <clears throat> You never know when you're going to need it. You never know. Well, when you're inside a volcano, why wouldn't you collect it? Obviously. Right. Fly to the hangar. <clears throat> Too much more fuss. door to the bomb drones. Okay, let's grab it and get out of here quickly. Back in the terminal. 
make sure the bomb makes it outside. Guys, hey, where's it going? You need to remain in close proximity. It was seemingly programmed to reach an exit. However, it was not designed to exit over the lava. If you do not keep it inside the drone's heat shield, it will explode rather dramatically. Boom. Who the blazes is accessing our systems without my permission? Uh, nobody. <laughs> you think you're hot stuff hiding from us? I'll show you hot. I'm gonna find you and fry your ass. Ah, Boom. You guys really like the flamey metaphors, don't you? Whatever you're up to, it's going to fail. Who sent you? The retaliators? The who now? The radiators? You think you're clever. I smell Balakin's fishy stench all over you. Yeah, <laughs> sure, that's me. Listen close now. You tell your soggy boss to stay out of Cerulean territory. We made a deal. What kind of deal? We were forged in flames. Blood boiled, arisen from the ashes. This is our home. And if you people cross the line again, Zerilia will burn you down. Yeah, okay, I'll be sure to pass along the message. Thanks for calling. Uh, have a nice day. Have a nice day. Why do I get the feeling there's more to this story than Ming Young was letting on? He doesn't sound like a complete fruitcake at all, does he? Perfectly sane. Perfectly sane. Whoop. There we go. The bomb drone's hull should be able to resist the temperature from this point. Now you will need to attain proximity so I can override its mainframe and program it to reach the coalition. Indeed. Sure. Just gotta get out of here and find it. There we go. Fine. Right, let's try and get out of here. Oh. Toasty. Right, let's not get into too much bother. Yes. Blueprint there. Blueprint. Blueprint. Oh, the blueprint. Got out the blueprint. Alex giving us a blueprint there, isn't he? Ooh, it's a railgun. It's the railgun. Oh. Okay. Hostiles are detected. You're not wrong. Ooh, hello. We've got company now. Raglamatic, welcome along. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Everybody else that's joining us now. You're all tickety boo and having a wonderful Friday, wherever you are in the world. HQ. Nice. We should get out of here too before those Aurelia flamers arrive to uh, sizzle me or stir fry me or whatever. <laughs> uh, yes, humorous. Indeed. Right, <clears throat> indeed. Let's make like a tree and leaf. Oh, we're run. I'm down. trying to. Oh, 
para, para, para. The job is only halfway done. Only halfway. We have the bombs now, but we need them delivered somewhere else. I knew there would be more of this. Expect me at your base shortly. Let's talk. Ooh, okay, what we're gonna do? <coughs> we are gonna do a distress roll. Let's see what we've got in there. Uh, I'm actually uh, enjoying uh, uh, this build. To be fair, I think it's not too shabby. It does remind me of another game that I'm currently playing. <laughs> My ship is pretty damaged. Uh, can, can you help me? I'll see what I can do. Freelancer Freighter, who's obviously a bit damaged. He transfer a nanobot. Crossfire. Anyway, I can thank you. Just um, don't be a jerk if you get the chance. Good peacemaker there. Right. Power. Get it going. We're just gonna have a look at our challenges <coughs> for here for Drake. Uh, okay, so one more just for Drake. Complete six location challenges, two HRAs. That is a slight upgrade. Lose firepower though. <clears throat> sure that's worth it. Oh, bounce. Oh, let's go do that. Not too sure how we'd cope with this uh, ship though, because we've not done it. <laughs> we shall find out. Who's counting deaths? Not me, not this week. Funny when Eric's flying. The coalition nice. guys are sitting ducks out there. Let's, Let's redress the balance.
If you ever want to take an action shot, jump into one of the, uh, these uh, jobs, battle support, and then um, take some it. screenshots because there's bullets flying in all sides and directions. Jobs complete. Your credits will be with you imminently. Oh. Credits. Okay, repair on the drone. Fragilomatic, uh, might be time to leave CETA. Wow, I'm almost level 16 with Max right now and have mastered six challenges. I think you might, uh, you might re require <laughs> to uh, to move on up in the world, should we say, and uh, dive into uncharted territory. <laughs> to be fair, yes, I am playing on normal. Um, it probably has helped, to be fair. If I was playing in my gunship or maybe in the sentinel i would have probably gone on to, to hard uh but because i didn't actually know what ship would be flying uh i could have struggled but uh yeah it's very uh it seems a familiar kind of class they say there is other games that have a kind of um i don't really want to say but a, a resurrection kind of class you only gave me scrap metal for all that Liking the coloration of the all white ship, I, I do like it with the uh, light blue. I just crap like it is. Oh, that was not what I wanted to press. Boink. Back here. I think that's wrong. I'm surprised they can keep up, to be fair. One last container. <laughs> Uh, Junior Pantiotti, in these battle support missions, I usually go for the big targets. Do your choice matters? Um, I believe if you want, you will reduce the opposition down uh, a lot quicker uh, if you take down the destroyers, for example. Uh, obviously, at the top, you've got the two bars uh, for the various ones, and I believe kind of more points are assigned to uh, the big ships, such as destroyers, etc. Uh, Silent GSG9 over on Twitch. Uh, PS5 release when? Um, it's coming out later this summer, uh, but as we did mention a little bit earlier, uh, on July the 11th, we will be giving details uh, via the X, uh, ID at Xbox uh, event. So uh, stay tuned. July 11th, you'll find out just when you can get your hands on the PS5 or the Xbox Series S and X console version. There we go. There we go. Right, I think that's apart from Culver. Let's get out of here. Okay. Yeah, I know people are very, very keen to get their hands on the console versions. Uh, we can't wait to get your mitts on those console versions as well. Um, because, uh, hey, it's not to like about it, this first time. Right. See what mission we've got. Gang Wars, dock at the thingy. Uh, let's just see where we go back to the Lethal, shall we? Uh, go back there. I don't want to continue on with the storyline just too much. Uh, Davin here to 791. How oh, come we can use tracker to look around the cockpit, but with mouse, uh, but only with mouse when in cruise mode? I believe there's a technical reason for that. Um, I think it's been asked before, and I, I'm sure it was actually me that actually asked uh, the team. But I do believe there's a technical challenge uh, for why that is. Um, but yes, whilst it would be nice, I believe it is down to a technical issue. But um, I can't remember exactly what it is, but. Um, it's just unfortunate, but yes, track IR uh, certainly makes a, uh, a cool difference. Right, a quick restock there. 
Uh, any jobs we've got around here? Minesweeper. Oh, another battle support there. Uh, help Zerilia. Oh, okay, we're helping Zerilia. Okay, we could do that. Station maintenance. Destroy the base. I think we'll do that one. Do I do? I don't normally do jobs, uh, but I do think uh, they're a nice, handy way to get through the levels. If you do find when you're playing through, <coughs> and sometimes you will get to this point where you think, "Oh, everything's a little bit tough for me," especially if you've jumped into a new area. Consider a few things: upgrading your gear, crafting yourself some new gear, buying some new gear if you can save up for it. Uh, and also to increase your levels uh, just go do jobs find jobs do little side missions etc uh, sometimes you might be at the point where you're thinking I'm getting absolutely blasted here um, just consider that you, the game to a degree does push you on a little bit to say ha it's tough now what are you going to do about it and don't think you can just plow through head on sometimes you've got to be a little bit smart think about what you've got on your ship uh, do you need to upgrade and because when you're not hitting as hard when you're dying quicker then you've got to think, what what am I doing wrong? Um, and it could be that you need to adapt your flying style. It could be a case of you requiring upgrades to your ship. Uh, but yeah, just try and remember everything that uh, will possibly help you uh, will make your life a little bit easier. Uh, if you really can't do a mission task, uh, very easy and come in handy to move on. Yeah, uh, there is certain um, <coughs> certain elements within the game that we know can cause a little bit of problem, especially accessibility wise, um, in terms of controlling uh, drones and things like that. That there is the option, it isn't across the board, but in certain instances, you can drop the difficulty down um, and it will make a difference. I'm sure there's certain things, such as when you have to blow up asteroids to get them mine the resources and you have to put the detonators on and fly around. Some people do struggle with those, um, we know that, but then other people want the challenge of those to do them in the fastest time that they can. But one of those instances is if you want to knock down the difficulty level, the time between each detonation that you need to achieve is increased. So you've got a bit longer to fly around. And sometimes you get a bit disorientated. So yeah, uh, well called out there, uh, JR Panciotti over on YouTube. Uh, Davinator, uh, in regards the ship vendors, uh, I'm at a ship vendor now. Um, these will rotate the whole stock out in approximately one hour. Uh, so obviously somebody else might come along if you've not got the credits and may purchase that. Obviously uh, is an example of a, a car dealership in, in, in real life. There is a way that you will be able to later on with perks swap out the stock a lot quicker. Okay, but that's further on the line. It's one of the perks from your companions. Uh, certainly make use of that uh, further down the line. But otherwise, it can be a little bit of jumping around <clears throat> just to try and find that perfect ship. But uh, we've all had it, we've all had it. But yeah, you're just in the lap of the gods, a bit of RNG with that one. So yeah, it could be unfortunate. You just haven't got enough time. Get the credits gathered, come back. <clears throat> uh, anybody on YouTube? No, I think we're good. Right, so let's dive off, shall we? Go do these couple of jobs. <clears throat> Look at our map where we need to go. So that is destroy the base. So we've got to do that one first. Hey, Alec, it's me again. Hold on, hold on. Ooh, uh, sorry. Brain, Brain freeze. freeze. <laughs> too much ice cream. Oh. <laughs> we've all been there. Well, listen, we? uh, I could use some more intel. What can you tell me about the Retaliator <clears throat> gang? Oh. I fought them before. Nasty bunch. They're ex-colonial fleet too, but their boss is even crazier than Zealous. How so? Oleg. Yeah, very good point there, Spoo. Uh, yeah, if you do get the, um, the drops for the modules, then you can swap them out as well. Base, uh, but you need to find them. Into an you need to find them. Fortress. They built their own kind of screwed up utopia on the water. They got some robotics whiz who's filled the place with AI booby traps. And Admiral Balakin himself, he's got to be like a hundred years old by now. And he's a cyborg. Well, I think I got to pay them a visit. Thanks for the intel, Alec. <clears throat> I'd love to meet the voice of uh, uh, the voiceover artist who plays Alec. Because <laughs> to hear Alec in real life would be a bit weird. 
So here we are, we're going to go in and do a destroy the base job. <coughs> we're just going to try and get our levels up to level 23. Which would be nice. There we go. Challenge completed. Visit all of Drake's regions. That was easy, wasn't it? Just flying around doing, doing some missions. Jobs. Mucky Skulls, how are you doing? Thank you very much for dropping in. Good to see you. <coughs> that you have been tasked with neutralizing. Right, I'm gonna take out some of the ads first. Alec to the that. rescue. Alec! Now make yourself useful. I've never seen Alec turn up so much. Dealt with that, let's go find more stuff. Bye bye. See you at the base. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Go ahead. You rock. Boom, boom, boom. Check out the radar. Always handy. <laughs> Charger. Right, so we've got one more coil there, and that's that done. Pick out the boss. All right. Oh, hello, retaliation. Be the first to shoot him down. Come here. No, you don't. Or you. Looks like I've got company. Okay, and job done. Level. Here's your payment. Nice. <clears throat> there we go. Repair the drones. We're good, we're good. That was quite a lucrative little job there. More retaliators down there. Uh, so quick. <clears throat> Smoky Skulls, how are you doing? Welcome along. Um, yes, uh, as we've just been pointed out, Super Scrapper says, yeah, if you want to try it, there is a demo that you can download for free on Steam. And currently, part of the Steam sale, thought I better mention this, uh, if you've not already dived in, it is available at 20% off. Uh, also, Everspace 1 is on sale as well. 
Very nice, very nice. So if you haven't tried um, Everspace 1, uh, I do implore you to try it. It's a different kind of play style. That's a roguelike, whereas Everspace 2 is more an open world, semi-open world uh, RPG looter shooter. Uh, so slightly different play style, uh, but both very good games in their own right. Indeed, we got a nice little level there, didn't we, Super Scrapper? Uh, right. Pull up straight into that wall. Always healthy. Nothing too problematic there. Right, uh, let's grab some containers and stuff, shall we? Go get some. Let's see what we can. Break, shipwreck. Oh, salt's everywhere. Uh, credits, thank you. Head down here, we'll take out these others. I love how they are. Yep, we're here. Yeah, that's one of your the ice thing with me. Nice. Oh, oh, that's a sense there. Balance charge again. Ah, nano bots. That's quite handy. Right, what did you pick up? So we're getting a little bit full here. Oh, we're getting a little bit full. I'm just gonna. Oops. That out sensor it's not bad uh, if i'm checking for resources but not really what we're after um anything else unlocked what i'm just gonna dismantle some of these grids don't want them uh so yeah if you do find you're running out of space just dismantle for parts If you need blueprints, always be on the lookout for optimizing your blueprints. Right. The shipwreck. Over here. Look at those. Right, shipwreck, obviously, wreckage, which we have a little bit of a dink to uh, one of our uh, drones. Where that actual? Where are you? Frick. In there. And blast. That's a bit tight. That's a bit tight. Oh, let's get out of there. Crash the pin work. Only had it done recently. Oh. Penny. Oof. Uh, please, mate. Ooh, I didn't think that was going to fit, to be fair. Didn't think that was going to fit. Ooh, ooh. <clears throat> More capacity, recharges faster. But I am liking the speedwood. I do like that. I do like that, to be fair. Ooh. Right, last container. Oh, it's a shipwreck. Shipwreck. Lie down. Oh, that, right. I think that everything else is good. Lots of stuff. No, 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 no. We've got a shipwreck over there. Leave it. Shipwrecks, you never know what you're gonna find. Credits. Right, there we go. Now we're gonna go. That's a cool ship. There's trolling. <coughs> uh, silent uh, GSG9. Uh, already bought the game since it's in early access. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, but I want to wait until the PF5 is released. Ah, yeah. So hopefully you will have long. Uh, like I said, July the 11th, you'll get some more details. Just when exactly you can get your hands on the PlayStation version, anyway. <clears throat> right, so I discovered. Let's see where our. We need to claim those rewards, don't we? All arms. Right, track the battle support <laughs> is there. We're up to level 23.
but yeah if you do have any questions <coughs> that you want to fire my way uh, regarding the game when things are coming out what's the future going to hold in terms of uh, Everspace 2 etc then do fire them into the chat if I can't answer them then we've got Michael the CEO uh, the legend that he is uh, working here very late into the evening to get your questions answered so do please throw them up into the chat uh, if we can't answer them or we need a follow up then we do employ you to join our discord uh, discord.gg forward slash rockfish games join us on there and uh HQ away. told us someone might come right yep that's me let's try to clear the area for you guys huh hello through there You're welcome. Yeah, very well. Right, let's do a little bit of cleanup. Nice <coughs> uh, containers. Let's go. Boom. <coughs> Probably not us. Right, carry on. Modulator coming handy at some point. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Right then. <coughs> Another battle support. Oh, that's not yeah. Right, you can claim that reward of some small arms. There we go. <coughs> again. We've 
made it. Made it. <clears throat> I'm just saying sometimes that can be quite a lucrative option. You should wish to uh, not help them. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. <clears throat> Right, I think we need to dock somewhere and just get rid of some stuff. I think it would be quite cool. Uh, should we go back to Letho? Get, get rid of some stuff, clear out there. Thanks. After Lisa. Uh, yeah, Panciotti, it'd be nice if containers with one scrap metal was changed to uh, one ram and somebody could at least sell enough to pick up in space. <laughs> yeah, there, there is that. I mean, something that obviously the team will look at if they feel that certain items are dropping too much in regards to other things, then yeah, uh, certainly something they could look at. Uh, uh, Super Scrapper loves the game, found it on PC Game Pass, uh, played it for a while, loved it, then bought it on Steam so I could play it on the Steam Deck. It plays well for the small system, uh, but this game deserves. Just beautiful it is indeed uh, I, I do think the art um, uh, is just fabulous absolutely fabulous I just love the whole environments that, uh, that the team have created um, they are absolute wizards over in Hamburg and um, top notch work they do top notch they do <sighs> right let's just sell some stuff shall we see what we're going to get rid of I don't want that get rid of all the greenies time being there what i will say some people um uh, through the discussions on either discord or over on steam uh want to do a bit of trading in terms of the buy and sell it's a, it is an option within the game however it's not a focus the other thing is that i will say if you find uh commodities out in the wild you might find them floating around they're in containers or anything like that then you might think, oh, well, I'm going to spend the time maybe going to the systems where the demand is high, so the price is going to be high. You've also got to remember that, I mean, I've picked up this liquor. I've not bought it. Uh, I've been given it as a reward. If I sell it, it is pure profit. I don't need to spend the time going to find uh, the, the specific trade route or a place that sells it at a high price. So I will just bin it straight away. I will sell it off to the vendor straight away. Obviously, if I think I need to earn, you know, substantial amount of credits, then trade runs are uh, a viable option, but it isn't a focus of the game. So don't expect anything too dramatic in that sense. Uh, but it is certainly uh, an option that you could do. Certainly you could do. Uh, well, then we'll get rid of them for the time being. Do we want that? No. There, see, we're quite lucky mining equipment. Giving us a load that can oh, nope, hang on that one, isn't it? I don't want that one. Oop. Mm, a bit more structure and firepower for a bassie. That's a tempter. That is a tempter. That is a tempter. Just I'm doing well with the firepower. <coughs> doing well with the firepower. Back. You never know. Resources are always good in case you want to use that. Shield breaker missiles are quite nice. Um, so we'll keep hold of them. Medium nanos I can set to there. Don't, I don't. I'm not a fan of blasters. Keep that obviously as well. Peacemaker. We may switch that up, but. As you can see, our gear is not too bad. We're maybe gonna, I mean, we're lucky that we've got the superiors there that are kind of keeping up with us a little bit. Uh, the recharge booster, we may need to look at uh, kind of upgrading that. Um, but we'll just have a little look, see. Right. 
Right, let's see if we can carry on with that. Gilbert. Let's go to Gilbert, shall we? Uh, yeah, Pantiosi. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it can be quite profitable if, if you know the good routes uh, that you need to travel. Uh, certainly, it can make some money. In my first playthrough, I did. I went out of my way and did some some trade routes to boost my credit. Um, absolutely, does does work if you want to. Uh, but yeah, it's a it's a nice addition uh, to the way that you can earn the credits going out and you know doing jobs, missions, etc. If you know the routes, uh, it can be uh, a nice little earner. Uh, I just love this music. It's so chill. Just, you know, sit back in your chair, relax. Come mind me. Can I have a snooze? Imagine Gero actually playing this on the guitar. Just in fact, I do play the guitar very badly. A bit like my singing. <laughs> right, here we are. Bingyan, I'm at Retaliator HQ. This place is something to behold. I'm going in. They are extremely well defended. Be prepared to encounter serious resistance. I wouldn't expect anything less. We've managed to steer the Zerilia bomb drone to an unused access shaft half underwater. Once you reach it, you'll need to find a way inside. <laughs> I'm taking your word for it that there are no sieves down here. I promise you that this is merely a strategic target. Intruder. You have five seconds to turn around, or it's time to drown. Wow. Hmm. I don't like either of those choices. Is there an option C? Always silent. Take care, my friend. Hope to see you again soon. Shield X E X C rather. Uh, no, not really. No. Hmm. Gauze cannon. No, none too shabby. The thing with gauze cannons is I do find it always takes a little time to ramp up, which isn't a bad thing. But you know. Uh, Super Scrapper, uh, is there any way to remove the drone carcass if you don't have a drone you need to rebuild? Uh, do you mean, obviously, if... Uh, 
Like wreckage. Is that what you're meaning? Like, I, I just need to repair one of them, but that's that's all I need to repair. So that's fully repaired. And now you can see they do disappear or they go very faint. Uh, it's almost like they become less prominent. But they still remain. I think it's because obviously at any point you could lose a drone and then obviously it's going to be... Yeah, can you see? So that drone wreckage is now a bit fainter. Uh, the opacity has gone a little bit higher. Or lower. Right. <clears throat> so let's, uh, let's go a little bit of underwater, shall we? underwater <laughs> neither can you shoot them ah shame right let's try not to blow ourselves up with this shall we <clears throat> not that i've ever done that before Boink. there we go Should have done something. Let's have done something the indeed. The doors open. Boink. Right. There we go. I am on a roll. Doors open. Your celebration is premature. My senses indicate that the access hatch is filled with traps and explosives. Oh, joy. Yeah, I should take care of those before sending our drone in. That's a very good question, actually. The uh, and swim, shall we? See what they. Okay, they uh, they kind of not like it. Oh, they look like they're coming to join me. Let's just see if we can go a little bit deeper. Nope, they they're definitely not. Uh, <laughs> they're not like the drones. Do not want to get their feet wet. <laughs> they definitely don't. They definitely don't. Oh, there's one. Ah, one of them's taking the plunge. One of them's joined in. Oh, that, 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 yep, thinking about it. Some of them are like, nah, no, I don't, I don't. Get my, I got all rusty. Right, a uh, little tip here for you um, before you activate the bomb drone. Um, sometimes it's better to head into here. Just very careful. That you might need to just take out. <laughs> Drums of cats, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, just want to be very careful. Because if you don't clear out, you could end up in a whole world of hurt. And then, yeah, you'll go boom, boom, big time. But yeah, just methodically and carefully. Clear out the room. Send the drone in. Right. 
Let's bring in the drill. Come on, little buddy. Come on, little it buddy. It is not required to vocalize commands. Utilizing the drone's remote input will suffice. Oh, uh, yeah, Kevin Feeney over on YouTube. You little, uh, yeah, July the 11th, we're going to have more news regarding the launch on consoles. Another so door. Tuned. It should come as no surprise that this facility was not designed to welcome strangers like yourself with open arms. <sighs> Wherever there's a door, there's also a way to stick your foot in. Been a while since I did this mission. Been a while. Let's see if I can try some dice. ourselves up. By the way, if you do find it very dark when you're flying around, you may have turned off your headlights. Every ship does have headlights, uh, ship lights as such. Uh, just below my uh, hole on the top corner there, uh, underneath the red bar, you'll see the little yellow icon that's flashing on and off. Uh, by default, that is on your T key on the keyboard, and if you find it, it's very, very dark. T, you may enlighten yourself. Let's see if I can blow myself up. Just gonna sneak through here as well. Be on the lookout for anything untoward. The thing is as well when you fly in larger ships, obviously remember your wingspan will cut. Just realised I actually do not need to talk. Every time I say I, I can't do something or I'm not gonna do something, I end up doing something and blowing myself up. it that once okay right let's just fly back 
to activate the uh, bomb drone, bring him up. So he can move up quite a way. Oh, hello. There we go. Uh, Bitty Frog, will we get Premium Micro Selects again someday or DMT? Yes, we will. Uh, like I said, we've got plenty of other things and we've got obviously launching the consoles uh obviously more, Young, more, I'm more work spot you've marked on my map for bomb placement Excellent. the other versions You're as well directly underneath their armory Our spies it all takes time so, um, whilst we want to bring those features Bombing back to the uh, to the stream with michael selects etc um back it's back just a case of time unfortunately first one set up three to go You think I don't hear you down there? Scurrying around below my decks like a little rat. Who, me? No. Just inspecting some cabling. Routine maintenance calls. Situation normal. <laughs> this is Admiral Balakin. I do not think normal. I'm lit to stowaways. I will find you down there, vermin. And I will exterminate you. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. But yeah. look. If you would set fantasy aside for a moment, you might want to think about evacuating this place. It's about to get real hot. Real hot? You must be one of Zealous's men. If the that bastard sent you to peace in my end of the pool, you wow. will all suffer for it. You didn't it? Uh, yeah, that's me, Zealous's little helper. But again, nothing personal, so you might want to gather up some things and paddle yourselves upstream. You're the one who'll be <laughs> swimming with the fishes very soon, little rat. Well, don't say I didn't try to warn you. Bye now. Bye he now. Nice. Didn't Second bomb attack. Didn't shoot kick at all. I deploy the drone. <clears throat> How you doing, RGB? Good evening, guys. Right. <clears throat> Let's see if we can fail miserably at this again. Whoop. It was not what we intended to do. <clears throat> I just caught edge. Right, let's try again. Right, I even intentionally turned around to make sure that I was touching it. Anyway, and then lo and behold, I went bloody touch. Bloody right. Going through. Beep beep. Nice time. E there we go. Let's get that little bit of rhythm. <coughs> Always good. Right. You can get over there. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, there's lots of work that goes on behind the scenes. It's nearly painful, isn't it? I'm sure a lot of people are aware of um, when running a business, making games and everything else. It's uh, very complex. And we're just very lucky that Michael takes time out of his busy schedule to be here in uh, in the streams. It's a busy, busy week. Right, let's just go get our bomb drone. Come on, you. Moving up, buddy. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the screenshots. We're going to be doing those. I just need to get through this if we can. Next to space. Next to space. Up. Further. 
We are going a little bit underwater. You are approaching a flooded section, long abandoned. Long it abandoned. is unknown what might be lurking down there, and you are already aware your weapons are non-functional underwater. Right, Hive, thanks for the pep talk. Disabled. Okay, let's go get him back here. I think we just need to bring him up. Bring him up. Oop, my dear. Oh, some of my drones are still not happy about being underwater here. They're just like, no, no. Don't like being all the way back there. Don't like being all the way back there. Activate some movement. <coughs> Bring it up, bring it up. the ball. Give me the ball. Lava ball. <clears throat> uh, what the hell just oops. happened? It appears that the exit route been has been sealed, been sealed in. behind us. I told you we would find you, little rat. How does it feel to be trapped inside with your own bombs? Let's see how badly you really want to set them off. Enough that you'll go with them? He makes a good point. He does Perhaps make a good point. we shouldn't signal the coalition to trigger the bombs just yet. Not yet. We can find another way out of here. There is a bulkhead door. I believe its molecular structure has been weakened by years of saltwater erosion. On it. Okay. That's the door. This level. Yeah. There it is. Point. Right, let's get out of there. Find a way out, indeed. <laughs> what the hell are those things? Drones of some sort. They are scanning. Scanning for what, Hive? Your bombs. If they find them, they will defuse them, and the mission will have failed. So we better yeah. not let them find the damn things. This is quite handy. The, the drones are going off and attacking left, right, and center. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> Did you make it out in one piece? Amazingly, yes. 
We did. And it seems we like did. old Valakin took the bait. More than anticipated. We're intercepting their comms, and there are some fireworks. I urge you to pay us another visit at HQ. You surely don't want to miss this. You surely don't want to miss this. <clears throat> There we go. Right, we're going to head there, and then once we've got docked, we'll save, and then we shall look at our screenshots. That we've got some absolute doozies spread across Discord and Steam this week. Uh, I've been checking out Steam, so if you do play and you do upload some screenshots, I will probably see them because I'm feverishly looking through all the uploads of Everspace 2, and um, there are some absolute corkers in there. Absolute corkers. And to be fair, uh, the standard over on Discord is its usual high self. I think Steam are bringing some competition. Yeah, they're bringing some competition. <clears throat> right, there we go. Nearly docked. Nearly docked. Okay. Ooh, didn't. Adam Ross. There we go. Right, quick restock. Let's go to the pause menu. Let's save. <coughs> We're going to save it there. Overwrite that one. That was what my thing was. Buy a ship. Yes, I need to buy a ship. Right, back to game. Right, <coughs> I'm just going to pause it there. I'm going to switch to the intermission and then we will have a little look, see, at some screenshots. Back in a moment. Right, just bear with me. So don't forget, you can follow us on Twitter, on the Instagram, Reddit, Discord, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, all sorts of places. Just be on the lookout for Rockfish Games or Everspace Game and you will find us. Right, let's switcheroo to some screenshots and I'll just have to refresh one because I'll guarantee that it'll be squished. There we go, that's the first one. There we go. Let me just refresh that one. There we go to the full size. Go. There we go. Right. So the first up, we have this wondrous and very perfectly aligned shot from 8 Vic over on the Discord. Now, if you've been here before when I do the streams, I do like name the screenshots not everybody does but i like to give them a little name as i look through them and for this one from 8 Vic, i called it x marks the spot so whatever destination he's heading he's picked it out and he's in the x <clears throat> ship ship you know <laughs> we'll go with that uh, but that's a wonderful shot i love the coloration and i think uh, the, the red accents uh, all over the ship as well. Uh, mm, chef's kiss for mm, well, that one. I love that one. Love that one. Uh, I hope you do too. So next up is this one over on Steam. Now this one is from a new user um, who's been well, actually I say new user, been hundreds of hours into the game. Absolute hundred hours into the game. Uh, and they're a Japanese player. Uh, now, I do apologize if I mistranslate this because um, even though we have uh, a colleague on the team who is based in Japan, uh, they did say that translating a Japanese name to English is very, very difficult. Um, however, this one did come out as Rin Kuzaki uh, over on Steam. Um, I've tried to get in touch with them as well to... Uh, so, um, so just ask them what their kind of translation is. But this is Rin Kuzaki over on Steam. Now, I, I love this shot, and I think it would be a perfect wallpaper for a mobile uh, if you trimmed it down, really narrowed it down, because your eyes are purely drawn to that station. Thank <laughs> you, by son. Yes, along those lines. Uh, now, I've called this one Focus 
because literally your eyes are just drawn through the cavern through the uh, the gap there towards that space station and uh, i love the lighting as well uh, very very well done to rin kuzaki uh, over on steam i told you steam were bringing some good ones uh, and we've got some more to show you and again this next one up is from shift squared now panoramics <clears throat> they're always a favorite and they're certainly a favorite for uh, shift squared over on steam um if you've been to this planet obviously you will recognize it uh but it's an arctic region it's an absolute wondrous shot panoramic as you can get <clears throat> and now this one is called glaciers galore for obvious reasons uh nice icy conditions there uh but it is a very very almost earth-like look to it i'm sure it's very very cold in that atmosphere now temporarily we're going to be switching back towards discord with our next shot from uh steiny who has um i i think uh, a wonderful shot uh of some gmb and they were giving some love towards the gmb to um Go about their daily task i know obviously we can pirate them and get some nice goods from them and everything but you know they're, they're just decent grafters they're, they really are decent grafters you know they're, they're trying to earn some credits themselves they've probably got you know wife and kids and they're stuck in in this hellhole of a world as well and uh to be fair this one is indeed i called it gmb grafters uh because that's what the premise was yeah <laughs> flory i hope nobody will loot us indeed i was surprised actually that there's not the uh there's not the sign on the on the side of the ship no loot here <laughs> that'd be very very interesting but uh, a wonderful shot uh, an absolute doozy uh with the colorations you know we've got the nebula we've got the asteroids we've got the ships uh the engines really are standing out and then obviously in the distance we've got the star of the system and then here, just below we're looking like we've got possibly a uh, some marker beacons uh there as well so that's steiny over on discord not stinky as uh eric liked to call him last week but definitely steiny <laughs> well done great shot now one of the galactic photographers one of the our best galactic photographers that we've had for for quite a while is up next and that is the chemical bro now i'm gonna actually remove my <laughs> my head here because unfortunately i'm in the way up oh, there we go of the ship uh so uh, I mean, you are drawn to the darkness of space, but then you see the, the star, you see the planet being silhouetted. And then obviously just where uh, my head was uh, is a, a nice ship just swinging around uh, in its destination, wherever that may be, into the black there. Now, for, for literally, that is my title, Into the Black, uh, for this one from our wonderful Chemical Bro who also does post up on uh, on Steam as well. So I'm keeping tabs over there. So I do encourage you to check them out as well. So have a look at all the screenshots that are posted for Everspace 2. <clears throat> right. We're going to switch back to Steam for the next one. And I'm going to bring my face back in. Hop. There we go. Uh, for a wonderful shot from uh, a basically a fairly new player called Aliyah. Uh, who has created this very atmospheric, very atmospheric, cavernous um, shot with the Sentinel there sat waiting to head into the unknown and maybe take out some unsuspecting traveller who would become their prey. And that is the title I've given this one, Prey, because I think that, that little Sentinel's just sat there waiting for some unsuspecting traveller to come past thinking that they've got an easy pathway and then out they would come and snaffle all their goods, be it GMB, Outlaw or any uh, lonely traveller that's just trying to make a few bucks. But that's a wonderful shot from a liar over on Steam. Next up, still on Steam, we have one from EVGent11. Packing shot, this one. Um, such a contrast with the various... Uh, colorations obviously we've kind of got the green atmospheric background and then the hot red flames from the ship um, of the thrusters of the main thrusters I was a bit um, 
a bit torn with this one. I didn't really know exactly what to uh, to call this one, but I've got with flame or poison. Because I do feel like this atmosphere would be very poisonous. It wouldn't be something that you would want to inhale. Uh, almost like some kind of poisonous gas cloud, uh, for want of a thing. <laughs> uh, Bearded Frog, yes, Eric's no death streak. Uh, streak is indeed up to three, technically, <laughs> since he's not here. Right, next up is somebody who um, has, again, posted plenty of screenshots uh, over on Steam. They're, they've actually a massive plethora of them. And literally, this one is from Lord Kane. Um, this one, they actually named Voyager. They actually did give this one a name. Um, they are a Russian-speaking uh, user. Uh, and through translation, they were using it as this Voyager had gone on its distant journey uh, and then was on its way back uh, and it was returning home um, through the Beltagrades. Uh, but I thought it was a wonderful shot with the planet there and the, the moons circling around it and then all the different nebula uh, of it. It's a great shot, uh, definitely, into the Delta Quadrant. Very good, I like that. Very good, Flory, very good. And then again, another one on Steam. Told you Steam were bringing the action this week. They really, really were. Uh, this one is, again, from Rin Kozaki, the Japanese player that we found. Um, with the Vindicator and the drones, you can just check out the Vindicator and the drones right in the middle of the screen there in that uh, jump gate, the warp gate there. Um, fantastic shot. I was thoroughly impressed with this one. Uh, this was the first one I found of theirs, to be fair, uh, and I was absolutely blown away with how well it was done. Uh, and this one, I named Sunflower. It just looks like the petals of a flower. And then obviously the sun shining or the star shining through the middle of it. Uh, absolutely cracking shot. Definitely worth uh, a, a look. We will see more of these where at the end we've got a little showcase of them, which we'll be playing out with as well. Uh, like Idris Forge, great shot. Silver Ship was more centered. I uh, see Bearded Frog. A lot of people do that, but then obviously sometimes it being off center is always good. You know, it doesn't always have to be down, down the middle, but yeah, I think it's quite good. Uh, next up, uh, again on Steam, is uh, uh, another player who's been cranking out these um, these shots. And initially, when I first saw this shot, I actually thought it was a planet. And I thought, what's going on here? But then I saw that it was the explosion. Uh, Arc 9000 uh, straight into, uh, into that base there, creating an absolute, almost like mini supernova. <clears throat> um now, because I thought it was a planet to start with, I've actually called it Planet Arc 9000, simply because I was confused. <laughs> because I actually thought that that was the planet sphere that was there, but in fact it wasn't. It was just the Arc 9000 blowing up as it does and taking everything with it. A wonderful weapon, wonderful weapon. Uh, now, lastly, uh, and it was one that I just sneaked in at the end uh, because it got posted up onto our Discord, and it's somebody who does post some wonderful screenshots. Uh, and this is Sonozaki. Uh, and this one, what can you say? You've got to love that view. Uh, the depth of field, brilliant coloration. I'm loving the engines at the back as well as the uh, the depth of field into the the sparkly stars in the, in the background. But absolutely. Uh, who says that? Makes the last levels of Homeworld 2. Ah, yes. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Uh, but yeah, wonderful shot of a Sentinel. And this one I thought was absolutely sublime. Uh, so I actually called it Sublime Sentinel. It's, it's Sometimes it's a little bit too easy, a little bit too easy. Uh, uh, so Baby Frog, no, there's no Ode today, sadly. <laughs> I, know, I know the last time that I did uh, did the stream in Ericstead, I did have an Ode prepared. But yes, sorry, no, no Ode today. No Ode to Everspace. I know you enjoyed the last one. I know you enjoyed, but... Um, uh we oh wow we are over time again we are over over time but um thank you very much for joining us this week uh it's been an absolute pleasure to jump in in eric's stead he'll be back next week we'll have some uh hopefully something to show you next week who knows who knows who knows we kept things on the back burner kept things on the back burner for you boys and girls but uh, yeah eric will be back next week all being well and we'll hopefully have uh, things to show and, uh, and show some more of his nightmare gameplay as well because he's a very experienced pilot. Very, very experienced pilot. So I'm going to bid you adieu. 
please do join us on the discord discord.gg forward slash rockfish games hit the like button for the youtube video get us followed on twitch join us on the twitter instagram facebook wherever you are we want to see your happy faces and posting those wonderful screenshots so we can uh <laughs> bearded frog no no ode, no guitar no singing no combo yeah sadly yeah that would that would be uh that would be terrible uh but uh, yes uh i've been your host gary uh geek Bite, the community manager here at rockfish games uh we're going to play you out with some wonderful resume of these screenshots and i shall see you on the forums on the discord and hope you have a wonderful weekend uh, in the meantime folks take care be good and we'll see you again soon cdfm for now bye bye